Hey, this isn't the Battle Frontier. I hear you already angrily typing. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. Last time, we certainly did that Battle Frontier thingy. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to sweep that under the rug for a little bit because I have not been able to meet up with people to record that. It is kind of based on local wireless because, oh. I didn't know that was there. Okay, well, I guess I dropped a nugget of wisdom on you right there. Anyway, this time, we are back in the resort area, not the fight area, as we are covering an event today that I didn't think we ever would be able to. It slipped my mind that I had access to it, and how could I forget that I had such a thing? Well, that's because I didn't have such a thing. This event was loaned to me by none other than Maryland, because... Being in this series three times was not enough for him. He had to find a way to squeeze his name in there a fourth time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really do appreciate it though. Thank you so much for letting me borrow this. This is a level 100 Regigigas, but it's not just any level 100 Regigigas because if you look at that OT, you can see that it shills for Toys R Us and weekends in 2009. And that's a very special thing to do in the world of Pokemon, apparently. Has a Cherish Ball, comes holding a Custat Berry, has a Lax Nature, had a Fateful Encounter at level 100 has the moves Iron Head, Rock Slide, Icy Wind, and Crush Grip, very symbolic for what Regigigas' purpose in this world is. And should you have a Regigigas befitting of such a very specific description, you can partake in some event flavor things here. Now, we did touch on these things in the main series, but I thought having actual gameplay of these things and going back and doing that would be better than not doing it. So if we go north to Route 229, and then north again to Route 228. And further north even still to the point where you can barely go any further north while still being in the Sinnoh region. Man, I really didn't do a lot of things in this area back when we actually played through this. Wow. <laughs> As I was saying, we can go down to this barely visible cave entrance that you might very well have walked right past because of all the stuff they've thrown all over the screen. And now, if you have that Regigigas in your party, it's not only shiny, but also glowy. Yeah. It's a statue of a Pokemon. It seems to exude power. From somewhere, something spoke out. With our master, upon every lighted tile, you must tread. Getting off my bicycle for this to add dramatic tension because it's not as cool unless I'm actually walking slowly as I'm summoning this thing, whatever it might be. What the H was that? Okay, that was stupid even for my standards. I kind of thumbed my nose a little bit at that one in my head. I'm sorry. That one I'm legitimately very sorry for. I apologize. Um, on another note, you want to save if you have not already. Once you have done so, step forward and check the statue again. This is Regirock! Solid as, well, a bunch of rocks, not just a rock. It is very strong and resilient against physical attacks. In fact, so resilient that Regirock's defense is tied for being the highest stat held by any legendary Pokemon. And its attack isn't really all that bad either. Problem is, of course, the only way that it's obtainable in Sinnoh is with an event that's no longer available. It's not available to you until this late in the game, and it is level 30 instead of the usual 40. Plus, rock type isn't really the greatest in terms of defense. It starts with the moves Stomp, Rock Throw, Curse, and Superpower. Not a bad move set at all, and it's not far off from getting Ancient Power and Iron Defense. Definitely some good moves for it. But here, I have gone to the liberty of teaching Scythe False Swipe. This way I can get it down to 1 HP really easily, I just realized I probably should have thrown a Quick Ball on the first turn like I usually like to do. You never know when you might get lucky. And I definitely welcome you using Superpower, because I like having your stats. You did six damage. <laughs> I know that I'm more than twice your level, but <laughs> sorry, it's just really funny seeing an attack animation that amazing followed by just that little damage. Let's see what this does. Okay, that did four. You did almost as much damage with that as you did with superpower, even though I resisted them both. Okay, cool. With this, I can assure that I get him down to exactly one HP, and I guess if I wanted to use like a Thunder Wave TM or bring an electric type with me, I could also paralyze him, which would be nice, but it was just really easy to teach Scythe uh, False Swipe by using a heart scale. It wasn't really difficult to do at all. I just thought it was really the best thing for it. Uh, let's, let's just start chucking some Pokeballs though because I don't really have anything else I can do right here. And I didn't bring any 
just balls. Oh, that's awkward. Wow. Uh, okay, well, if we're not using dust balls, how about we have some fun? Let's see how you like being in a frilly pink ball of shame. Nope. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. Being in a heel ball is... Well, okay, I think one of my team members is actually in a heel ball. I think Acrobat is. <laughs> um, I was about to say that it is a little bit shameful because it's one of the least helpful Pokeballs out there, though, but... Uh, I can't really say that. Um, you know, Reggie Rock, things have changed a lot since your dominion over the world or anything of that sort. Because, you know, nowadays, it's not shameful for guys to like pink. It's actually quite manly, you know? So if you want to be rough and tough and, you know, want to, like, come out with, like, pink sparkles all around you and just kind of show how tough you can look despite that backdrop, that might be a good time. I'm personally not a fan of pink. I'm a much bigger fan of purple, though. But this is the closest we can get. So what do you say? Get in the ball. Yeah, thank you. One. Hey, my conversational skills seem to be getting a little bit better. Let's use our first smart ball. Gonna go for the ultra right here. I probably don't need dusk balls, all things considered, because timer balls are gonna do a fantastic job anyway once I get the turn number up. It does kind of suck that I'm probably gonna be using more items than I could have gotten away with, though, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Also, stop doing more damage than superpower is kind of funny. <laughs> One. Two, three! Ah! <laughs> Using more resources, my baft end, man! <laughs> I tried to say butt and aft end, so I said baft end. Uh, that was dumb. Okay. Uh, we already have a Regirock because I transferred it from Emerald version so that we could fight that Regigigas at the Snowpoint Temple already, so no Pokedex entry this time, but wow. Uh, that was over rather quickly. Okay. Well, let's be off on our way. And, oh god, no. Ugh, the ride pager has spoiled me! Not used to needing HM users on my team! Our next destination is Celestic Town, for if we leave there to the west and enter Mount Coronet... Suddenly feeling like I skipped a few too many trainers. You will find this chamber. Specifically, the Iceberg Ruins. I th actually thought it was going to be called the Iceberg Chamber, but I got caught right there. It's a statue of a Pokemon. It seems to exude power. From somewhere, something spoke out. With our master, upon every lighted tile you must tread. I must say, this chamber suits you to a T. I don't have any follow-up, I'm sorry. Let's just check the statue and be done with it. This is the unpronounceable Regice or Regice. Both are official, not even Pokemon themselves know how to pronounce this thing. It was once a near impenetrable special wall that reigned supreme back in generation three. Had stats so good that it shined through its terrible pure ice type, but since then it's been knocked down a few pegs. The physical special split was not kind to this Pokemon and only further pronounced his weaknesses. Stealth Rock was also a very, very poor addition to the game for its liking. While Reggie Ice is still good at being a special wall, Ice only resists itself and all types have physical moves to play around with now. As such, you're gonna have a hard time switching into Reggie Ice and it's not as useful as it once was. Of course, if you could obtain this around this point in the playthrough, it's probably the best ice type available to you as of right now, considering we're not even on the snow route yet if you're playing through it normally. And this time, I'm not forgetting to throw my turn one quick ball. In fact, with your color scheme, I'd love to catch you in a quick ball. That'd be awesome. You'd look good in this. It even has like a cross shape of, of yellow on it too. I didn't even shake. Nah, I was hoping. Maybe even get my hopes up. None of that. You just don't want to give me any sort of time of day. What's nice is that you have lower physical defense, you don't resist my false swipe, so I can chip you down to 1 HP a lot quicker than I did Regirock. And I know, I'm well aware that I'm basically repeating myself with these bios on these guys, but they're legendary encounters, they're special. If I didn't whip out the bios, then- Whoa! Uh, I guess that's a testament to just how defensive Regirock actually is against physical attack, because wow. And also a testament to everything I just said about Reggie Ice being true. <laughs> cool. 
luxury ball? Do you want to be my bestest friend in the whole wide world, Reggie Ice? The voice crack gave you the authentic high school chugga experience right there. Okay. So you're going to do superpower yet again. I am not worried about this whatsoever. What's kind of nice is that they... Like two damage. They can't really do anything to me. Scythe's typing is just really nice for what their moveset is. It does have Icy Wind in its moveset in place of that rock throw that Reggie Rock had. I'm not worried. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. One. And before you tell me you can't believe that I did this twice in a row and how could I ever forget, don't worry. I didn't forget that either. If this turn can hurry up and be over, thank you. I didn't forget the dust balls. I brought 50 of these things. 50. I am ready to wait out the timer ball timer all the way to turn 30 if I got a one. Nope. Dust balls really are just the saving grace. Just so many legendary Pokemon are found in caves. So many things like that are... It's helpful in so many fights. I, I, I'm just stammering at this point. You know how helpful they are. They are so good in so many legendary fights. Heck, a lot of legendary Pokemon aren't even fought in caves, yet locations like the Spear Pillar count as dark areas. I don't know why that is. Plus, let's be honest, if you're anywhere close to my age, you only ever play Pokemon at nighttime, so it kind of gives you incentive to actually play your clock straight and not have it be 12 hours off so that everything doesn't look terrible at nighttime. Okay, Dusk Ball number three. Come on, Reggie Ice, work that ball. Show me some wiggles. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, I would have stopped wiggling in that situation given the context too. I don't blame you one bit. I don't think it's as powerful as the Dusk Ball yet, but I brought 20 Timer Balls with me. Up my count on those a little bit. We might as well throw one and see if we get a little bit lucky. Nope. I'm willing to try a few Great Balls. I've caught some Legendaries and Great Balls in my time. I've had plenty of days where I threw tons of Ultra and Dusk Balls that didn't work, and I tried a Great Ball for the heck of it, and worked out just fine. Besides, you look pretty good in this. You don't have any red on you, but it's almost a complimentary color, and the blue's nice. One, two... Ah! It would have been so good. Like, I swear to you, I know that there is no math to support this, but just more often than not for me, Great Balls tend to catch things. Like, it's really weird. I've had so many times in my life, not even just in recordings. Well, yes, in recordings, definitely. And I've had plenty of times in recordings where things that were not even as good as a Great Ball worked out just fine for me, as many of you have seen. But for whatever reason, I feel like I catch a lot more legendary Pokemon in Great Balls than Ultra Balls. Even like dating back to like Red and Blue, that was the case for me. And I got one shake on the timer ball, it's starting to work, come on. Just cursing up a storm, aren't you? Not like I really care, you're not able to do any damage. Never already got you down to one health. It's not like I'd even want to hit you again. So, another timer ball maybe? Let's see. Guess I need to learn more patience. Dust ball again. One, two. This cry is just so like, so dramatic sounding, just ew. It sounds like an eagle like dying or something like that. Not saying that an eagle dying is cool though, but I mean, I guess it would at least sound cool if you disconnect the context from it. What, no. <laughs> Come on, flaunt that cry. It has one of the best cries out there though. It's one of the, well, I guess coolest sounding though. I didn't really want to make a pun there though because I think I've already met my daily quota for that. And besides, the two that I already made were real stinkers to the point where even I couldn't chuckle at them. They were that bad. Yeah, yeah, use your terrible move that's good in VGC and nowhere else. Bet you think you're cool for using that move before it was cool. Another unintentional fun. I can't help it, okay? Give me another timer ball. It's just really subconscious at this point. One, two, three! Oh my! <laughs> two short battles, wow! No Pokedex entry once again, but that's Reggie Ice down. Now, should we head out of these ruins? Man, that looks, I wanna go back in there real quick. Like, just the color scheme of the 
blue flooring and the ice on the walls and just the gold glow that you got coming from the floor tiles. I'm glad it stays after Reggie Ice is gone from this place because it's so pretty. Easily my favorite of these chambers. Just a place that I can sit there and appreciate for a little bit. It's an area that I'd like to sleep in, actually. It's just one of those areas in video games that you want to just kind of take a nap in. Speaking of areas you'd like to take a nap in, this song is very relaxing. But that's not what we're here to do. I have already praised this song a lot and not praised this route enough for two lifetimes. So let's go to Canalave City. For we must take the boat to Iron Island. If only my trainer felt like walking about six inches uphill to climb up these ledges so we wouldn't have to go through the entire dungeon again, but gosh darn it, his feet are so darn tired from walking around Sinnoh all this time. Anyway, in the last room of Iron Island is the Iron Ruins. <laughs> Great naming theme. In here, I think you know what the inscription says, so we'll just cut to the dramatic part. Oh no! That's all I have because this doesn't really resemble any letter though, but I've always seen it as an O, and I've always seen the Reggies as spelling out H-O-T, but that's just me. Thank goodness there's no encounters in here because in fourth generation, you know those two steps would have yielded at least three encounters. <laughs> here we go, let us fight. g g z g z o. Clearly that's what that says. It's Reggie Steel! With some strong defenses on both fronts and a pure steel type to boot, Reggie Steel serves as a great tank. It starts with roughly the same moves with Stomp, Metal Claw, Curse, and Superpower. Same move set except for one steel type move. And it can even learn Explosion right away with help of a Heart Scale. It learns some nice moves later on, including some nice new Generation 4 toys like Charge Beam and Flash Cannon. The biggest problem with it is that, as of this game, Steel is not very offensively viable, so its same type attack bonus isn't going to come in handy all that often, and as I am chucking the quick ball at it. Even though I'm happy to show this and I'm so appreciative that I could get an event Regigigas to be able to show off these fights, can I just say that this is probably the stupidest event in any Pokemon game in history? Like, think about it for a second. You're going to an event that was only held at American Toys R Us's, by the way. If you were Canadian, you couldn't get this Reggie, this uh, Reggie Gigas to do this. So you had to be American, and you had to physically go to Toys R Us. Couldn't even download it over Wi-Fi. Going all that way to get a Pokemon, you were downloading something that was legitimately available in Diamond and Pearl for more than two years earlier. So it wasn't even a special Pokemon you couldn't obtain elsewhere. And then when you get it home, it unlocks your ability to fight Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. Which, what is their purpose? Opening the Snowpoint Temple so that you can fight a level one Regigigas. Just you give us a Regigigas so that we can. You make it hard for us to obtain a Regigigas, which its ultimate purpose is allowing us to obtain a level one Regigigas when you already have a level one hundred Regigigas to do this event. And not only that, but one of the biggest criticisms of Diamond and Pearl was that you needed a Game Boy Advance Pokemon game to be able to experience a lot of what the game had to offer. This would have been a perfect opportunity to rectify that. It had been two years since Diamond and Pearl. What was so wrong with just making Regirock, Regice, and Registeel normally fightable in Platinum so that if you didn't have a Game Boy Advance game from five years ago, or I guess four years ago to be totally fair to it when criticizing it, you could just do that. I don't get it at all, but... Yeah, when you really stop and think about it, you're going to the store, getting a legitimately available Pokemon that is not special at level 100 so that you can go home and catch the same Pokemon at level one. I don't get it either. One, two, three! No! Oh, I thought we really had it, wow! Would have been three short fights today, <laughs> dang. Um, I guess when we're fighting Reggie Steel, one thing that I can bring up about it is that it is one of the few Pokemon that is not in the Sinnoh decks, but it had its sprite altered from Diamond and Pearl to Platinum. Technically. If you live in Europe, this was not the case. In the European release of Diamond and Pearl, they changed Reggie Steel's pose from, well, what you see on screen to what you now see on screen. I think you can figure out why they would change that in Europe, and in Platinum, they changed it for all regions. So, Reggie Steel is a little bit special in that way in that it had a sprite change. Personally, I think the first one looks kind of epic, the pose that it's in, though, but I can understand why they wanted to change it, but it's 
shoulder ball that's further away from the camera is larger than the one that's closer to the camera. It's a weird proportional thing that makes me kind of not like this one as much, but hey. It's less offensive, and you would look awesome in a timer ball, buddy. Like, dude, you have all the right colors, and you have a light gray, a dark gray, you have a red. Apparently you didn't think so, because I guess 5,000 years ago, they didn't have aesthetic design as a thing that was around that you would recognize, but... You know, you gotta get with the times, Reggie Steele. You really do. Speaking of getting with the times, how about maybe you're the one who wants to look really manly from popping out of a pink Pokeball with sparkles all over the place and being able to look tough amidst that backdrop. No? Okay. You look good in a luxury ball as well. I'm just trying to think about like what kind of ball I would like to have a Registeel in. A luxury ball could be kind of nice. I'm sure there's not a lot of Registeels out there that are in luxury balls either. Let's try it. Nope, he didn't want to be my bestest friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> you gotta love that just when you're a kid, how like you want like a bag of chips that a kid has and your way of persuading with them is, please, I'll be your best friend. <laughs> I kind of want to know if anybody ever had a friendship or even a relationship kind of last on something like that where they met their best friend through something as petty as just wanting their bag of chips and saying that to them and then you really actually did become friends. Can't imagine that it's terribly common. I'm going off on a tangent here, wow. Um, Ultra Ball, let's give that a go. One. You would look positively hideous in a Dusk Ball, but you know what? You don't seem to believe in color theory, so why should I? Get in the Dusk Ball and be a boring Reggie Steel that is wearing the same thing that all other Reggie Steels in the world are wearing because it's the smart thing to do. I mean, you have a fashion sense after all. I'm sorry. I just kind of assumed back 5,000 years ago you were all wearing tattered cloths on your crotches, and if not that, you were just running around naked like you are in the present time, and you think that's socially acceptable. One, two, three. Uh... Gave you too much credit. <laughs> Well, that's three pretty short battles here. I, I am lying a little bit, okay. Not intentional, but I had a recording session get interrupted earlier, so I did actually have a fight with just Regirock that um, had an interesting end. I will show you that right now. There is but one option I have not tried yet. Why not? At this point, why the heck not? Maybe this will make him actually like me if he chooses to join us on our travels. Nope. He was not into the idea of making fast friends. Ah! <laughs> I tried to make him fast friends with me, and his answer to that is that he would rather kill himself. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was kind of too good not to show. Well. That is three event battles I didn't think we would be able to show. Would have been nice to have them during the main series when we visited these areas for the first time, but little did I know that I had somebody like that, and even though you can't really do these fights today unless you have a cartridge left over from years ago or you're friends with Maryland, and wow, it just kind of sounds like I'm bragging at this point, but he's a nice guy. He's a good man. Okay. There's nothing else for us to do with these legendary golems. I guess I could go and check on them in the PC just to kind of see what they're like though, but we can't exactly fight Reggie Gigas with them since we already did that by transferring my Reggie golems from Emerald. Lonely nature, docile nature, and apparently happily eats anything despite not having a mouth. Lo <laughs> wow, I guess being sealed away in a empty square room for 3,000 years is pretty lonely, so I'll definitely say those natures are accurate. But that's not all we have, actually. There is one more bonus that I want to do. For we are back in Floroma Town. In my party... I have a level 50 fateful encounter shaman holding the much sought after Mickleberry. If you have one of these, Ravage the land with your mad farming skills all you can! This thing is amazing for super contests. I cannot sing enough high praise of it. It's also great if you want to get Milo tick though, but I digress. If you have a fateful encounter shaman from Toys R Us or wherever it was in your particular neck of the woods, you can talk to this lady in Floromatown. Oh, a shaman. 
you have that Pokemon, then you should also have some Grisadia flowers. I've got a whole bunch, so you can have some. Or just one. You like taunting me by saying I'm going to get plural when you really only give me one. This is a key item that, if you use it on a Shaman, it's nighttime. If you use this on a Shaman in the daytime, and when the Shaman is not frozen, you get this very nice effect. I don't like your cry as much, but you're definitely a lot more useful in this form. Land Shaman was one of the worst legendary Pokemon of all time, at least as far as I'm concerned. There you go, there is Sky Shaman, normally in the game, and yeah, you can't exactly do this in Platinum without access to an event. Luckily, it was made a lot easier to obtain later as time went on, but yeah. There are some events that I didn't think we would ever get to show off. There might be a possibility of doing others down the line, but unless that happens in the near future, I think we're done for now. And next time on Pokemon Platinum, we will be returning to the Battle Frontier with another guest. See you guys then.